Um, so here's Crystal Cave, right? Yeah, Crystal Cave. Well, bye, Yankees. I'll see you soon. Oh no! Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. It's a big problem. Um. So yeah. Oh man. Hey there folks, Amazion reporting for duty, and today we're playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved Scorch Poop modded server. That's where we're at. Oh man, so much stuff to record every single day. Still getting ready for Japan, still recording all kinds of content to get ready for two weeks of vacation. And so today, what we're gonna do is I am planning on using the teleporter pads that are added on the server. I did not know they were here. I have them on the Amazionite server, but they are I didn't know they were here. I didn't know. I had no idea. No one told Mazion. Um, maybe someone did, but I, I didn't see it. So, um, I've been making all kinds of things to make this happen. Um, now I think, I think that I've got enough teleporter pads. There's a few locations that I'm going to want to be able to visit. And I want to be able to have enough room. So I made this big squaw thing. It's 12 by 12. That's right. 144 foundations sitting right here in a big pile. And I'm going to put ramps all around the thing. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do any other aesthetics to it but the main focus is that there's enough room to fit a dino on and move it to somewhere else and so like one place that i know that i definitely want to go that i did and i'm not going to put these on the edge i want to put them in just a little bit so if we count over here one two three four five six it should be somewhere like right here ish bam just like this I think I think it's yeah that's it's exactly where I want it. So this one I'm gonna actually connect to where I used to mine metal because I like that spot and I think that once we get a nice harvesting Anki, it should be a pretty ballerific to move back and forth from that location. There are other places that I'm gonna make uh, uh, these teleporters go to, and a lot of it's gonna be resource gathering areas that's going to be the biggest thing because i'm going to start to increase the size of the base and i'm going to start to build different areas at the base for different dinos and other things like that um i don't know if they're going to be buildings or just segregated locations but we are getting a little bit cramped down in there i did find out today by the way by the way that the alpha wyverns from art comes alive can pick up the dodo rex but they cannot pick up harmus or Toxaseer, I think is the name of the one, Toxaseer. So as you guys probably are aware, in my vanilla series, my metal gathering area is right here. It's got good metal nodes. It's got a bunch of the good ones and some of the crappy ones. But we've got at least like five, six of the good ones over here and stuff. So I'm thinking that this might be a good location for an Anki that has all kinds of weight to come hang out and grab some metal. So, this might not be the best location on the map, but I don't care. I have not checked for the best location on the map. Bam! I'm going to do it right here. So, if we set down this teleporter... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Why did I not do that? I forgot to name the other... Maybe if it's not named... Will it teleport me to the other not named one? Ha-ha! It did! All right. So we're going to name you. No, no, we're not. No, crap, crap. Cancel. I don't know. Oh, man. So you're going to have to name them aptly before you move. So here we are again, back where I was before. And you can take your Argentavis or whatever other animal that you want. Get on the pad. Press E. Well, it didn't work this time. Get on the pad. Press E. Oh, crap. Hi. How are you? Get knocked out! Or die, one or the other. And then press E. And then you and your buddies, whoever's inside this ring of awesomeness. Oh, I did not mean to stab you. I'm so sorry. We'll be, uh, we'll be teleported to another land. To a faraway land. So that's one of the places that I want to go. I'm going to leave it unnamed for now. So that's one location. So I can make... I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to fit on here. Probably a lot. I probably could do a lot. But this direction... I think on this side in the middle in the middle again so we're gonna count them one two three four five six and then back one space just like so and bam oh don't stab it you dummy why would you stab it and i'm gonna name this one rename teleporter 
silica pearls. So there is a crap load of silica pearls over at the red obelisk. So if we start to fly, fly far away to the red obelisk, we can set down another teleporter. Now I tested this. I went like all the way across the map and these teleporters, they just go wherever the crap that you want them to go. And the fact that they can transport dinos and that little bubble is pretty amazing. Um, I can't really decide whether or not I think it's better than Stargate. I mean, it is to a certain degree because you can simply click on it and then you teleport over. You don't have to have like, you know, just type in a dress. You don't have to wait. But man, Stargate looks so cool. I was I was like, I'm a huge Stargate fan. So, I mean, I think that that is a ballerific thing to do. And I, I really miss Stargate and I like to use the pad. I don't know. Anyway, so here, if you bring a whip, you bring a whip. All on the land, even even on the land, there are silica pearls everywhere. And a whip is a ballerific way to grab tons and tons of silica pearls all around here. So you can get, I mean, I only got like 5,000, 6,000 the last trip that I made here. So I was thinking, I was thinking, I was first of all, I'm thinking that this Capra is going to destroy me. Bam! You dead. I was thinking of putting it like right on, right on here, like right here. Like, I think that's a good location. Oh man, so I'm pretty sure I named it Silica Pearls and I don't remember if I put spaces or not. Silica Pearls? I hope, no, did I, did I misspell it over there too? Oh, I hope that I did a Spaceman. Not Spaceman like I'm off in Spaceman, but like Spaceman, like Dr. Spaceman. Um, so if we get on here, I'm me and the bird should be teleported to a faraway land! And we are. We have been teleported exactly to where I named it Silica Pearls. Perfect! Perfect! Pretty super psyched about that. Now, let's say I want it to be super easy to get polymer, right? Polymer. Man, I cannot count. So if I stand directly here and look in this direction, I should be able to put down my next teleporter. Teleporter, and this one will be called Rename Teleporter. This one will be called Polymer. Sure, why not? We'll just call it Polymer. We're calling this one Polymer. And the idea is going to be to bring one of our ballerific guys that'll get Polymer really well out there. But today we're just going to bring the Argentavis for the time being. So I should have enough room on that thing for many more teleporters. But if we go in this direction to the to the far this area over this way, that's a technical term that I've created for you. Um there should be mantises. So I'm thinking, if I look at the map here, so we've got to the edge of the land, the edge of the world now. I'm I'm not sure how I feel about just leaving these all willy nilly out here in the in the land. I'm gonna try it. Can I not place these in the? Is it? Oh, I can place it. Okay. So this one, this one we'll call rename teleporter. We'll call this one polymer. Except, must have a bird. Come here, bird. So if we have this new teleporter out here in the in the everywhere, and we have it named polymer. It should bring us back to the base. Hurry up! Yes! We have successfully made three working teleporters that are amazing. They are amazing. So now, this one right here. This one right here. Right here. Right here! Um, I think it's... Yes! This one we're going to call... That's good enough. This one we're going to call... World Scar. Except, now, I think the World Scar's in that direction. <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, the World Scar's over here-ish. So the World Scar, we can get sulfur. We can tame dragons. We can kill dragons. You can do a lot of things. But over in the World Scar is where the next location is going to be. It should be back here, if I'm not mistaken. It is. There's the World Scar. So now we've got access to all kinds of sulfur. We could go mine sulfur. It's something that we might do. But I didn't call it sulfur for a reason. I called it world scar, right? 
All right, so what's the safest location for one of these at the World Scar? Hmm. I do not know. I know on the other side of the World Scar, there's a nice safe location that I might be interested in. So let's go over there and I'll show you where that is going to be. Hmm. I'm, I'm like thinking of anything. Anything that will dissuade me from putting it where I'm thinking of putting it. I don't, th I can't think of anything that would dissuade me from this location. There are no better locations between here and there. But at the end of the world, Scar, on this side, there's like a little, it's like a little inlet. A little inlet there. And it's really, there's really nothing there, like ever. And so I thought it would be a great place. Now we are on the modded server and that, that might, it might be taken up by heathens. Oh man, I could have done it to the middle of the, the Colosseum. Wait, where did the spot go? This area has changed. That's weird, man. That's weird. We had this little spot. I mean, I guess maybe we just had it right here. Maybe. It's not a terrible location. We could do it right here. This should be good. This will be good. BAM! World Scar! Okay, so now the name this one, and rename Teleporter, World Scar. Except! Sweet! We've got a World Scar Teleporter! Let's go sit on it. BAM! So these things are amazing. I, that's kind of what I'm showing you, is that it's super easy to set up, super easy to get done, and I'm super excited about them. Oh man, so now we've got four, and I'm gonna think on other locations that I might need to have one of these at but so far those are the four that i can think of and i did decide that this size is amazing that's that's the only the only size that we need so if we take these here we can put them all along the watchtower and this isn't a watchtower but that's a reference to a song where is it from tell me in the comments below but there so now we can get up it from any side and so, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing to the base thereafter. So I guess I must have enough ramps on me for the entirety of this awesome creation that is the big teleporter pad. I guess we don't need signs. I was thinking about putting signs near the teleporters, but it's not entirely necessary. I ended up with two left. So this is the thing. All right. So give me my bird. Come here, bird man. All right. So if you see right here, there were some plants that I talked about when we initially made the base. Oh, by the way, look at all my flags. <laughs> There's some plants we talked about when we initially made the base. One of them being this area down here being a repository for dinos. So what I was thinking about doing is extending the wall all the way to this cliff here and then maybe putting walls along the cliff to stop things from going down in here, but that might not be necessary because everything I'm going to put down in there is amazingly ballerific. And then making sure that this butts into this particular plateau and then on this side we will block it off right here and then you'll have this whole new area. Uh, for dinos and whatnot. Now, the problem that I'm running across is that these behemoth walls that we have here are not considered foundations. They do not start uh, stop the growth of rocks and trees. So it's kind of a pain in the butt because I like my areas that my, my dinos live at or my, my, my living space not to have any rocks or bushes or trees and stuff. And even I found that pillars from S plus we're not stopping spawns. So I had to come under here and put a foundation, just a regular foundation. And I'm not even sure that the foundations over there that I made for S plus will stop spawns either. So these ones under here are regular foundations. And so uh, these pillars that you get from S plus, they do not stop foundations. Once a ceiling is attached, it does not become a considered foundation in which case things just keep growing. Um, yeah, so that was a pain in the butt. I uh, actually had a monkey spawn inside my house, and it killed me a lot. It was a kind of a big debacle, but anyway, 
So the next thing that I wanted to do today, because we're thinking about doing a lot more building on modded, I, I got to do some tours recently of some really cool bases on some official PvP servers and stuff, and it made me miss imaginative creative building now what ends up happening on these modded servers is that when we get here we realize that we really don't have a need for any sort of protection or building or anything and we just start taming all kinds of critters and playing with crap but there's an epic opportunity on modded to make some ballerific building another hurdle in the way of that is that in the previous seasons of of uh pooping evolved i did some large builds and and other people did some pretty ballerifically large builds as well and they lag the server and so we kind of made this kind of agreement that we would not do that much anymore so i'm trying to not but i don't know what else to do i want to do a build i'm going to see what happens if it's too big and too ballerific i can always destroy it or pick up all the things or whatever Anything can happen, but we've got all these cool teleporters now. I mean, check them out, man. I'm pretty excited. So the next step for today is I want to get a harvesting Anki. And so that's another thing. I guess I could... I'm kind of... Mm, mm, I wish that there was a teleporter pad here. Like right here. So I could... I could... Not that it's necessary... I could put one like right in the middle of this and then put one right in the middle of that and have them correspond. I don't think I'm going to do that. But anyway, so I'm going to start collecting tons and tons of metal because I want to do some metal building as well. So we need to go find ourselves an Anki. I've got all the darts that I need. I need Anki Kibble. I don't need Anki Kibble. I want Anki Kibble. Kibble Vending Machine Plus. Craft it. 30 metal ingots and two crystals. Very difficult to acquire. So if we go here, we can grab very much metal ingots and two crystals and make a vending machine. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think the vending machine is going to go where all the other food things go. I've got eight more teleporters. <laughs> What? No, why would you, why would you go up on the, I mean, that, that's kind of cool. I'm um, now, now just go in front of the wall, please. <laughs> All right. So in order to gold coins, metal ingots, I don't want this. I've changed my mind. This is stupid. So you need different kinds of coins for different. And then that requires metal ingots and cementing paste. Um, all right. Oh, cementing paste. You know, how much cementing paste do I have? I don't have. Where's my ballerific amount of cementing paste? I've got it somewhere. Are you on this? I don't have a ballerific amount of cementing paste. Very sad, Gypsy. Very sad. So I'm going to need to make some cementing paste and some metal ingots. You know what? I probably have some golden kibbles hanging around. Now that I've taken that out and can't put it back in. Golden kibble? Anybody? No! No! I've got golden kibble somewhere. So what we're going to do, get some kibble together, go find ourselves an Anki. So I looked all over the place for many different Ankies, and I kept only finding level 280. Harvesting Ankies, and I don't know why. It is super annoying, but I figure that eventually I'll find a better one. Just while I'm roaming about the land. So I should be able to tame it with this golden kibble here. If I just put it on now. Bam! And I'm going to take it back off before it eats all of it. And then now, I don't know if Slipgator's Archon Davis is ballerific enough to, like, maybe pick it up. But we're going to hope that that's the case. I probably should have brought... No, it's not. I probably should have brought a dragon. Now that I was thinking about it. But I am pretty close to the red tower. So if I can get this puppy, not really a puppy, more like an Anki, over to the red tower, then we can bring it back on the teleporter. I think that's what we're gonna try to do right here. I should be able to get it over in this direction. Maybe I'll find a better one on the way. I don't know, I've looked all over the map. It's been interesting. 
Very, very interesting, Gypsy. But this one's going to be 420, so that's not a terrible level. In fact, I'm sure some people would love it. All right, so I'm going to bring this over to the red tower, which should be right through there. Oh, no! I'm going away from the red tower! Why are you going away from the red tower, Mazion? Oh, crap. All right, so I'm going to get it home. I'm going to use the teleporter. I'm not going to... I'm definitely not going to lead it all the way home. No fun. Where'd it go? Crap. All right, we're back, and on the way home, I tamed a power anky. It was a higher level than this Harvest Anki. And so the Harvest Anki has just a little bit more weight. We've got 37, uh, 30, 20, 3270 weight. And we've got 707 melee damage percent. And then on this one, we've got 2900 weight and 1253% melee damage. And I'm, conf I'm uh, really excited to see which one is better uh, for harvesting things. Now, I thought the harvesting one would have better weight for sure. And I've got saddles for both of these guys. Apparently, I only put it in their inventory, not on them. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to make this dude follow me. And we're going to go harvest some crap and see what happens. Do, 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 do. Harvest Anki. And we're leaving the base stats for now because I just want to see. All right. Well, that was a lot of harvested things. That was also, I'm trying to harvest the metal. Is there something wrong? This is confusing. I got it. I got it. All right. So how much metal did I get? Four, 4,139. Obviously, I cannot move. I'm going to take all this crap off. And they're both going to need more weight anyway. There's no getting around that. Holy crap, that's a lot more weight. All right, so now let's get on this guy. Let's put weight on him. All right, let's go attack another good metal. No, this is another of the same qualita. More metal. So the power one that I have here got more metal. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that unless you get something of an equivalent level, something this low is not as worthy as something this high. So what can we get your weight up to after one node? It looks like we get more out of pumping weight on the Harvester Anki, though. So it's hard, it's going to be hard to say which is going to be more useful in the end. But, I did want to do that little test there. You can see how that would work. I think that you would definitely be better off with an Anki that is Harvest at the same level as the Power Anki. And I, and I think it looks like after we level up the Harvest Anki, it's, it's going to end up being better anyway. Anyway. But just this one... Why is it doing that sometimes? What? See, look, we can't... We can't get... Why can we not get this? Destroy it, please! Okay, I don't know what's going on. We had the same problem with the Harvest Anki. Oh, now we can't harvest this. There's some sort of glitch occurring that is super annoying. There's a super annoying occurring glitch. All right, we got it that time. 1,959 metal off of that node. Go to another crap node with the power Anki. What do we got here? More weight. Gonna need all the weight because when I come out here, I want to be able to harvest every single node and then go back and, and be able to go back too. So this was the objective of today. Oh, I also found a crystal cave and I'll show you guys that in a second that other people have already put a teleporter to. And that crystal cave is gonna be really great for crystal resources. So we've got silica pearls, we've got polymer, We've got metal, and we've got crystal. And so those are the major resources that we needed. Where is my power anki? Where did you go? What the crap? You stop, you stop, no, you stop, you stop. I thought power anki was following us. Was it the other way around? 
Was Harvest it? No, did Power Anki fall off the cliff? Stupid Power Anki, where are you? Where did you go? What the crap? Oh, man. I'm going to fall off the cliff myself. So I'm being protected by this baller. Of oh, Power Anki found his way back. Come here, Power Anki. All right, let's go back. You know what? Since I've got two of these guys, I could just leave one. And he sh of course that was going to happen. Leave one at the, the Crystal Cave and leave one over here. If I have, like, a defender. All right, come back over here, Power Anki. We've got places to go. People to see, don't you know? All right, here we go. I love this teleporter thing, man. This is awesome. Hi, everybody. Dr. Nick. Um, so here's Crystal Cave, right? Yeah, Crystal Cave. Well, bye, Yankees. I'll see you soon. Oh, no. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. It's a big problem. Um, so yeah. Oh, man. Crap. So there's a Crystal Cave here, and I, I don't know if there's good metal here. There's a sulfur right out here. There's a little bit of metal. Oh, hi, everybody. Dr. Nick. Um, what the crap? So down here, there's all kinds of crystal and obsidian and crap. Oh, stupid. Oh, is that a speed RG? Is that why I'm getting my butt kicked? I'm going to have to put them all down. Crap. Let me out of here. Bam! Back to the base. So you can make speedy getaways, and it doesn't bring the wild dinos with you, which is a problem that we did have with the Stargate mod. So we've got this little pad here going. I'm going to have to think of a couple more locations, so at least uh, three to go to, so that we have a use for the rest of the corners of this thing. But that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to mess around with these, get a couple of good Ankies, tell you my plans for changing and expanding the base. Yep. And so we're on, and we're getting close to Japan. So for me, today is the 28th. 29th, 30, 31, first. On the first is the day my plane leaves for Japan. And so you guys will be seeing this episode uh, after I'm in Japan. But hey, <laughs> that's it. If you guys like today's episode, make sure you blast the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later.